Anyway, on to our third movie, Holes! Holes! Disney's Holes! Oh my gosh! Starring Shia LaBeouf, a young Shia LaBeouf. Yeah. Yeah. And Sigourney Weaver. Yeah. And some other people. Yeah, definitely other people. Oh, a, a young uh, Gus from Psych. Uh, yeah. I can't say I know who that is. And Montgomery. Take Really? Dylan seems like a guy who'd be a big fan of Psych. Uh, I feel like I might, I've heard of it for sure. I just don't think I've ever watched it. So that's the big issue here. Um, I agree. That to be honest, I don't remember a ton from this movie. I kind of remember the general overarching plot. Uh, when did you see oh, it? Oh, God, I don't even remember. I'm pretty sure I've only ever watched this movie once in my life, and I was probably... He's talking about most recently. When did we watch it this week? Oh, when did we watch it? I don't fucking remember. It was like Wednesday. Yeah, that. I'm just I'm just making sure that <laughs> that you know you not remembering is due to your own incompetence. No, no. Negatives. When I said that, I was referring to like like when the last time I watched it, like before this time, is what I was referring to. Okay. Uh, I got plenty gotcha. of notes. Don't you worry. I got more notes on holes than any than any of the other movies. Dylan needs to study holes. <laughs> Definitely not. But uh. Yeah, what are our what are our general thoughts on this movie, guys? This movie's a little it silly. It is a little silly. It's definitely if you very ask silly. Me. The entire time we very were watching silly. it, Jackson kept asking if it's a comedy or not. <laughs> yeah, I was I was I was told prefaced initially that it was a drama or something, and like immediately watching this movie, like this is a fucking comedy, and Nico kept lying to me, the son yeah. of a bitch. It's an action adventure film. It's not. <laughs> it actually is. It's, See, and that's yeah, the thing. That's is, IMDb says okay, it here, here, here's my yeah, issue. Yeah, IMDb does. I, I, that. I think you can say adventure film. Sure. I don't think it's an action adventure. Did you see them yeah, guns definitely. going off, dude? He shot a yellow, uh, yellow spotted lizard. He did that. Tanner, like can I run something yeah. by you really that quick? That thing also scared me as a kid. By the I way, got, I got a question. Do you think not knowing what kind of movie you're watching affects how you're going to judge and critique it? So therefore, if you're being lied to yes. about it, you're going to judge it more poorly than it actually should be 100 percent. if you go in expecting something else and get something else yeah you, you, you're like you might not be able to overcome your preconceived there we go notions. he goes a rat bastard confirmed anyway moving on uh yeah in terms that's of that's on you for having any preconceived notions dude you should go into each movie blind uh, I'd, put, I'd much rather judge a movie for what Impossible. it actually is anyway uh yeah the cgi in this movie is kind of silly uh the slow motion uh, might have just been the technology they had back then. The slow motion was god awful. I did not like the slow motion whenever it happened. Uh, they had one. That wasn't just the technology they had at the time. That was a stylistic choice by them. Yeah, that was really. I like how they. Uh, I like how they got real lizards and then just painted them. That was <laughs> yeah. funny. Uh, I know at one point, in terms of stop slowing down time and shit, there was like when they were talking about the bandit lady. And then they sped up that background footage for whatever dumbass reason that was also really bad and uncalled for. Um, so cinematography in general for this movie was not great. It did not rate very high on my scale. Uh, mm. And the, the the acting was kind of just okay. I don't know if anybody had any other opinions on the acting. Uh, Shia LaBeouf has never been the greatest actor, and there that is no excuse for him being younger uh, in movies. Uh, but, I don't know, I, after, after a bit, I remembered, you know, why this movie was more enjoyable and how eventually when everything loops around, uh, the movie ends up making more sense towards the end, which I don't know if that's a bad cinematic call or not, but I think, like, I was definitely rating this movie lower, uh, watching it, and then at the end, everything started making more sense and like, oh, this is why they did this, oh, this is why this is that way. And then it ended up overall bringing my rank up a decent amount. So I don't know if that's good or bad or not, but that's kind of where I'm at. Yeah, a lot of the flashback stuff doesn't make any sense in the context of the present day story until like the end when they th say, and and that's how th that thing met this person. Yeah. yeah, pretty much. Like nothing means anything until you get the the answer to it. Yeah, so I don't mm -hmm. know. I like, like you don't uh, like the I whole like point of it, like the whole fucking holes thing. Like you literally don't have like any clues on this being a thing at all until they literally tell you about it. Like I don't, I, mm -hmm. I can't think of anything how you'd be able to draw that conclusion yourself. So it all just seems kind of pointless having it laid out this yeah. way. Mm. 
I like how they were considering sending him to prison for stealing some yeah, shoes. Yeah, well, some shoes, dude. Those are Ricky Gervais' shoes. Yeah, I was shoes. about to say. Then, like the context like, of like the guy, so, like something about like the the, the dudes, sh- like these shoes are from a famous person. Like that that context came in later. So initially, it's really confusing. It was like, oh, they wanted him to send him to jail for stealing shoes, and then then it's revealed later. Oh, this is some famous guy's shoes, by the way. Uh, but it wasn't that dude, much later. Even it was then, like, he's like tw- he's like thirteen. Well, and then they tried to he tried to justify stealing the shoes because his father is trying to solve how to get rid of bad feet smelling shoes or something. So like that was his justification for stealing the shoes. But like all he knows is that some shoes flew out of the air, hit him in the head, and he could have just you know done nothing with it. But you know, we're you know, it's whatever. They were nice shoes. They were all they right were shoes. Nice shoes. Uh. Man. Let me see if you guys are on board with me in this next statement. Honestly, a five by five foot hole a day doesn't seem all that bad. See, that's what I was saying. But you're also in the hot, scorching sun with barely any water. It just doesn't seem like it'd take all that long. It really doesn't. I feel like if if I was given like an hour, I'd probably be able to dig that, to be completely honest. And I don't find... An hour? Yeah, like an hour. I'd say like an hour yeah. and a half. You guys are smoking fucking crack right now. I, I, yeah, I feel like it'd take uh, quite a bit longer as well. Th- However, like, you know, it's not like they can just have these kids, like, out there fucking digging holes in the hot desert, like, all day long, you know? Yeah. Like, mm-hmm. Except for when they do See, that. See, and that's what I was <laughs> about to say. Yeah, like, I mean, like, like, so there's some implications that they're literally out there all fucking How day. How the hell is this facility <laughs> It's not a, real, a well-regulated uh, fucking camp. Yeah, that. like, that... that how they do they like verify that like somebody go over there and like check every hole or something too? Also, like how can you just like claim some random hole? Like they drop you off there, they leave, and then you can just be like, okay, yeah, I dug this hole at some random other area. Oh, that's a fair point. They should they should. By do the way, that. in that well, same... I think that the problem there is that like you know the other fucking campers like rat you out if you try and do that because like well if I'm fucking digging a hole, you better be digging a hole, Buster. Hold on a second though. They should all just lie together. But here, here's the other part here. <laughs> Eventually they're gonna catch on pretty quickly if there are any more holes being here, cut. Here, here's the other part too though. When they it was like the first morning and they all grab their shovels and the main boy accidentally grabs the one kid's shovel and he's like oh X-ray yeah that guy he's like why why is it his shovel. Uh, and he's like, oh, because his his shovel is shorter than all the other ones, and like you, that's in reference to like the the guy saying you have to dig a five by five hole so the shovel should stand up and then go across. If the shovel's shorter and it has to be five by five, why does it matter if the shovel's shorter? What do you mean? Why does it matter if the sh- shovel's shorter? The guy said that the the hole in depth and in width should be the size of your shovel, but if he also gave a specific measurement, why does it matter if the shovel's shorter? Well, they believe that all of the shovels are five feet. Yeah. All right. Well, X-ray took a shorter shovel so that he could show. See, I I did it, but he actually did hypothetically. But then that goes back to like, why aren't they checking the holes then? Also, this place is like that would be time consuming. This this place is also like extraordinarily out of regulations. Like, you can't expect me to believe that nobody's come out here to this camp to like check it out and like see that they're obviously using child labor, which is not legal. Uh, to dig holes, presumably to find a treasure of this lady's grandfather. Well, they're not fucking advertising it that way. I know they're not advertising it that way, but also, you can't tell me that this camp has existed for this long and nobody is like, checked before the end of the movie when they're like, we're gonna have this place under investigation. Like, clearly, this place is I mean, there wasn't anything that fishy going on prior to that. I don't know. I feel like if you're going to send a kid somewhere as, like, a correctional institution, you should at least know more than where it is and what it does. That's just... What What other information would you need to know other than where it is and what it does? I don't know, maybe does? making sure child cruelty isn't involved. <laughs> and, you know, fucking rattlesnakes and apparently... I mean, there isn't really any child cruelty involved from what we've seen. Uh, I... They're not fucking whipping the kids. <laughs> I don't know, man. I, I don't. I don't think the the standards held at this camp are that great. That's all I'm saying. Okay, so I, I've done the math. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Uh huh. To dig that size hole, it'll take you about fifteen thousand shovelfuls. Okay, I thought you were about to so say fifteen say... minutes. I was gonna say Tanner, this fucking cap. What do you mean? <laughs> no, 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 no. Fifteen thousand shovelfuls. How many? How many shovels? Or how how quickly do you think you can? 
like dig and throw. That's like what, a second and a half. Yeah, one to two seconds. I would second say. and a half. Second and a half. I'm saying like five seconds probably. Well, yeah, I was burn. thinking like three or so. Oh my gosh! Like consistently doing that, Tanner. Like not just like one, but like you have to like keep doing it, dude. Yeah, that shit would get tiring very just, quickly. Like, that's some crazy. That's some intense cardio. Yeah. It still shouldn't I take you I get fucking tired day. just like I'd raking and brooming seconds. and shit pretty quickly. Fucking digging a hole in the hot sun would It still kill shouldn't me. take yeah. you all day though. Like, it shouldn't take you more than four hours. I'm not hours. saying all day. It's like three yeah, hours gonna, minimum. We're gonna go with Nico and say three seconds. So that's 5,000 seconds. Divide by 60, that's 83 minutes. So about an hour and a half. That's assuming no breaks this entire period. You're just 100% for an hour and a half just doing this. <laughs> There's no way you can do that for can an hour not... and a half straight. Whoa, whoa, what? Huh? You don't think you could, huh? Oh, you don't think, you think and you can <laughs> fucking shovel in the hot sun for an hour and a half straight without breaks? An hour and a half is not very long. Yes, Look, I Jackson, could easily He's the same man who believes that he could take an infinite amount of children in a fight, okay? So, <laughs> yeah, can you're fucking smoking piss right now. You're fucking Actually boiling piss right could. now. I just need to pile them up high enough that I can nap on top of them while the bottom ones struggle to get up to me. You'd fucking take a break after the first five minutes of doing that shit, guaranteed. No, 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 no. no You're no. crazy. Anyway, uh... Shoveling for an hour and a half is a very realistic goal, I think. That's fucking crazy. I feel like it'd be closer to two hours. In addition to this whole thing about being a correctional facility, uh, why, why is this main kid lying in a letter to his mom? He doesn't want her to worry. Uh, yeah, exactly. Uh, I, I assume, uh, my assumption was that they, like, read his notes, and so he wanted to make sure notes were actually getting sent to uh, his parents. I mean, my other thing here, though, too, is, like, for this being a correctional facility, like, to, to fix their characteristics or their attitudes or whatever, uh, a lot of these kids are real assholes still. They really just don't care. They're all jerks to each other. Like, the, the, the correctional facility really isn't fair, doing anything. Well, yeah, because it's not really a correctional yeah, facility. I don't know. They just want child labor to find the treasure. I don't know. I guess that's fair. I guess I'm viewing it too literally. Tin, are you more of an armpit or an x ray kind of guy? I'm more of an x ray kind of guy. Yeah, that's fair. Uh, what? Let's see, what do I have? I thought uh, the sets and the costumes were like surprisingly well done. Mm. Yeah, I'd say so. Like all the old yeah, west the old stuff looks like the old west. Yeah, I thought yeah, that yeah. was all pretty well done. Um, let's see. Right after that note, I have bro. What? There's a fucking lynching in this movie. Yes. Yeah. Except it never it's actually. It's much more happens. graphic in the book as well. Jesus. I mean, Christ. hey, what the? At least fuck? they at least they shoot him in the middle of the lake. That's probably better than what they could have shown. <laughs> Just saying. That's so fucked up. This is a Disney movie? Yes. Yeah. It's a bit woke for me to be. <laughs> <laughs> in addition to that, uh, when they're like, when the ki when the two kids are like stranded out in the middle of the desert, and this will this will become relevant in a second, because it's assuming that they found the supply of peaches from like when that guy was took the jars and was in the boat. Uh, we're just gonna assume that these kids ate peaches out of out of a preserved jar and those peaches aren't going to kill them despite being probably hundreds of years old is, is that to be correctly understood by me okay. yes i think uh i mean it made zero sick later preserved. so like it did make did it sick. Yeah. i thought that was like fucking yeah he started yeah. throwing up and shit tetanus or, well why didn't the other kid get sick then he's just got that dog uh, and he then... also didn't like eat as much presumably it looked like i don't know i don't yeah it seems like zero ha had been eating those peaches uh, for like all the days See, he had been I figured, missing. Yeah. I figured that he got sick because of whatever the fuck the shovel did. Like he got cut by the shovel on his hand, so it was like some like tetanus or some shit. I figured that's what that was. And then that caused him. To I don't know. Up. I don't remember what tetanus does. <laughs> it was just my assumption. Okay. Um, how'd you guys feel about like the more mystical elements of this uh, movie? One pretty. Goofy. I literally read one of my notes and I was like, "What was the purpose of inventing a lizard for this movie?" <laughs> That has nothing to do with what well, I just said. Well, what, what mystical were you talking about? Because my, my, when I equate I equate mystical to inventing a lizard. <laughs> well, how about, how about, like, there being an actual family curse and him having to carry the kid up to the thing and they drink and he sings a little song. I thought it was and, pretty neat. And then the rain. That was the, that was the full circle bullshit that I was talking about that made everything make more sense. Mm. I, I thought it was a good way to round it all off, I guess. I was fine I thought with it. Was, it. 
I thought, I, I don't know, I found it The circumstances weird, were a little too convenient, if you ask me. Like, it happened to be this kid's great-great-grandson. And, you know, obviously, yeah. of course, it had to be the one kid who's cursed. And then it happened to be the same mountain somehow. And then he happened... It wasn't the same mountain, though. The old the old mountain was in, like, fucking was Italy. Was it? Oh, shit, you're right. Well, then why did it... Weird. I don't know why. That's something I wondered. Why? Why did Weird. that work? I don't know, man. I don't know. It's like close the, enough, the, you know. Yeah, the curse she cast was like, ah, it can be any. And it also <laughs> didn't. He, she also said it had to be her. It didn't say it had to be her descendants. So there's also that. You know, curse logic. Curse right? logic, man. Those damn witches. Or I guess it'd probably be a. Uh, fuck, I can't remember the name of it now. I had the word. Now it's gone. Never mind. What, are you looking for warlock? No. A vibrant voodoo goddess. No, it, it was a different word for witch, but I don't even remember what I was going to say. Sorceress. No. Witch doctor. Maybe something along those lines. I don't remember. Fortune teller? Like I said no. earlier? It, it's fine. I'm not going to worry about it. It's not important. A gypsy? Okay. There you go. She was a gypsy. Oh. My, my like, final thing here is like crazy that this movie revolves around a curse. Like, overall, this movie is basically about unraveling and solving the curse and freeing everybody from it. And the only reason this kid's here is because of a curse, and he's here to solve the curse, and everybody else involved is technically involved with the curse. It's just, you know, crazy. Yeah, this movie's pretty satanic. Sure. True. I think. Probably. But they pray to Jesus Christ during the film, Tanner. Checkmate. I don't even remember that. It happens like four separate times. Oh. Yeah. Wow. I missed that. Every I don't single remember time. any of them, I guess. <laughs> well, yeah, they specifically state the fucking uh, Stanley. He's a Catholic. Oh. Oh, okay. Yeah. Every time they weren't digging holes, I'm just like, dude, when are they gonna get back to the good part? <laughs> I gotta get back to them holes. Yeah. One thing about this movie, mm-hmm. it's definitely like, uh, it feels long. It does. Uh, yeah, it felt very fucking long. It was kind of arduous. Yeah, I remember at one point we checked the time of the movie, and we're only like halfway, and I was like, damn. I definitely Just thought like, that we were like maybe three quarters at this point. This is going on a bit too yeah, long. Yeah, pacing for my wasn't liking. great, but they had to flesh it out for some reason. Also, how did that one guy not die from snake uh, rattlesnake venom straight to the face? I definitely feel like that would have killed him. I assume they gave him anti venom. Maybe. I, I also noticed. What I find weird is uh like they dig up that tube of lipstick. But lipstick wasn't invented until like a hundred years after the Wild West. Well, obviously, was it? She... did you look up when lipstick is invented? I assume it wasn't invented until later. At least not like in the cylinder well, thing. Maybe they had some fucking like paste that they would rub the on their lips. If the one warden lady made her own like nail polish and shit, I can assume that her great 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 grandmother or whatever the fuck probably made her own lipstick and shit or whatever. That is not a reasonable I know it's not, but it's a all. stretch, but it's the only thing that makes sense in that case. Uh, 1915 was when the metal tube lipstick was invented. There you go, 100 years later. Yeah. Eh, close enough. She made her own lipstick. Lipstick originally was invented in 1884, though, which, like, that's way later than I was expecting. Yeah, still too late for, uh, this movie. Yeah. Wait, 84? Mm, eh, probably too late. Maybe. I guess let's see. Maybe not. This mo- that that would have been like post Civil War. Yeah. So, I suppose. I mean, it was in the Mel thing, so whatever. I'm I'm taking the W. Okay. <laughs> I'm taking the George W. Bush. All right. Uh, well, does anybody have any last thoughts on this movie? I can't say I do. I think this movie is sweet. I think it has a lot of character. I thought it was pretty silly and pretty entertaining throughout. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I like it. A when, solid Disney film. Yeah, I like it when a uh, armpit does that little dance and he lifts up his arms and everyone's like, "Ew, armpit!" That's why you got your oh, name. Oh, armpit! Oh, wait, of Disney, was this even included on your guys' list, or were you guys only? No, we only watch animated I was films. About to say. All right. Except for Who Framed Roger Rabbit because it's also animated. I was gonna say that technically has enough animation, but anyway. It, based on what criteria? There are a lot then. of animated characters in it. There are. They end up in okay. the tomb world at one point. We didn't watch Mary mm-hmm. Poppins, though. It doesn't have enough animation in that one. Damn. Hmm. All right, who's going? Who's ranking first here? Uh, I'll go ahead and go first. I think the holes is pretty neat. I really enjoy how everything, like, sort of, like, wraps up in the very end. I think it's really satisfying. Uh, I'll give this film a B. Okay. 
Interesting. I'm going to give this film an A minus. Okay. While Jackson's typing in both those letters. Uh, yeah, I thought this movie was pretty good overall. I obviously had my issues with it, so I think I'm going to land it at a solid B+. Plus. Dylan, I'm glad you said that because I also rated it a B+. Oh my plus. gosh, we're so concise and kind of all together on this rating. Uh, yeah, all, this this is a very the, close very close rankings. Yeah. Who would have known that me being a... This might be the most, like, uh... The most in sync any we've uh, been on. Who would have movie. thought that me being more objective and judging these movies would have resulted in this kind of outcome? Guys, we just Crazy. got our seventh B plus movie. <laughs> <laughs>